Hi everyone, this is your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 4th of January 2018. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight deck for today's reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of and what the energy is about on this day. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Five of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles is a court card, and the Knights are always extreme. So the Knight of Pentacles is extreme in the sense that he's overly focused on material things, money, belongings, financial success, and really trying to prove himself in that area of life. The contradiction is that he's the only knight of all the knights who isn't actually moving. He's standing still. So the message that I'm getting intuitively is that you're going to have a lot of ideas about how you can make things better in terms of your financial circumstances, but that you're not going to know the exact ins and outs of how you're going to make that happen. The next card is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune always being a turning point. It's the 10th card of the Major Arcana, so it's a crossroads. And there's really an opportunity for you to change your luck, to change the way your fortune is. And that's by taking taking a step in a direction, taking a step forward, taking something that you're not certain about and making a decision. So if you have three exits ahead of you, left, middle and right, and you don't know which one you're going to take, the message today is that you're at that crossroads point and that you're going to have to move forward in some direction if you want something to happen and if you want things to improve. Now, what I'm being told is that the way to let yourself make that decision, even if you don't have all the facts and figures at your fingertips, is to listen to your feelings, to listen to your desires and to listen to what motivates you. So if, if it feels exciting, if it feels like it could bring you a personal sense of joy, even if it doesn't seem very productive, then listen to that inner fire, to that sense of motivation. Go with that and make the decision that way. The final card, the five of wands, you can see five young men kind of fighting and it's a trivial fight. And each one of them has a desire, a passion, something that he wants to achieve. And you also have that. I just mentioned that with the Wheel of Fortune. You have to listen to what motivates you, what fires you up, and what kind of gives you a sense of energy. And other people are going to be experiencing the same thing. So there's a lack of clarity floating around in the air today. People are going to go inward and dig deep within themselves to come up with some sort of answer or some sort of fuel to move them forward. But because of that, there's the potential for conflict with other people. Because if everyone is just thinking about what they want to achieve, what motivates them, what is fun for them, then obviously people are going to clash and people aren't always going to see eye to eye. So the best way to move forward with this day, there is the potential for you to really change your circumstances for the better. And if you're totally out of ideas in terms of what to do, Yes, do listen to your feelings, to do listen to what fires you up. But also be aware that you're not, you know, no man is an island and be considerate of other people to a certain extent. And if something does feel positive and motivates you, but you know that it's going to create a lot of drama or conflict with a lot of people, then step back from that a little bit and rethink and look at another option that motivates you and fills you with excitement. The good news about today is that you have the potential to really progress and to make a change for the better. But the big red flag to watch out for is, is this going to create a lot of conflict with other people? Am I going to create a lot of upset by making this decision? So it's a balancing act between what it is you want and what you desire and what's going to help you move forward 
and what's going to create a lot of problems in your life. So you've got to find a middle ground there between the two and find something that you enjoy that doesn't at the same time fly in the face of, you know, everyone, you know, everyone's beliefs and values and um, things that aren't in the interest of the greater good. You've got to look at a way forward without rocking the boat too much. And if you do that, then you can change your circumstances for the better and find a way forward. It's just a bit of a tricky balancing act today. But that ultimately teaches you how to graduate from the Knight of Pentacles to become the King of Pentacles and how to make these types of decisions where the answer and the way forward isn't always clear and straightforward. And you learn how to navigate these difficult kind of situations by listening to your own feelings and looking at your environment and looking at the people around you and being considerate of their needs and their feelings as well. So this is a very kind of mature day in terms of learning from your circumstances and progressing. Number wise, we've got a court card, which is one and 10 is 11 and five is 16. One and six is seven and seven is about mind and creativity. So think things over before you take action. The Knight of Pentacles is very good at that. Then actually do take the action, but make sure that it's informed and it's informed in the sense that I've mentioned that you look at the other people in your life and you also ask yourself, is this something that I'm going to enjoy and benefit from myself? So I hope you have a great day. If you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.